Hi, I'm Mark Duclos and welcome along to the Week in Review as we take a look at what's been making headlines in the New South Wales greyhound racing industry. Now before we get to the action on the track, here's a quick recap of a recent announcement from Greyhound Racing New South Wales in regards to yet another prize money increase. From October the 1st, an additional $780,000 will be put into prize money for the provincial class meetings at Wentworth Park on a Wednesday night which equates to an extra $20,000 per meeting across all 520 and 720 metre graded races. Prize money for a fifth grade event over 520 metres will now rise to $4,000 with a 720 metre race offering up a $4,400 winner's cheque. Now, despite all the obstacles we've had to overcome with the COVID pandemic, the TAB Million Dollar Chase Series for 2020 is in full swing and a number of regional finals have already been conducted with the first three place getters from each of those finals booking a slot in the semi-finals of the chase, which will be staged at Wentworth Park on Friday, October the 9th. The first of the regional finals was at Gosford, where Knight's Page for trainer Gail Masterson took full advantage of the inside alley and defeated Blaine Purr and Vamos Penny in the time of 29.63. Ready. And racing, nice dispatch, getting out well, curious motion and wanting to drift through, but got to the middle of the track where it wanted to be Knight's Page and was able to hold a clear lead. Pushing up on the fence was Rock or Bust, out wider, but checking off heels was Showtime Jack, probing the fence, Vamos Penny, out wider to Blend Purr and back to last, sipping Jafar, down the back, Knight's Page leads the way, Rock or Bust to his coattails, a break back, Vamos Penny and then Blend Purr as they swing for home, Knight's Page kicking, Knight's Page well supported at the longer rods and got the Cash nights, pay. Casino was the first of the Northern Rivers venues to get their million dollar chase series underway and the Mitch Northfield prepared Karinga Lucy also claimed victory from the inside box. She was too good for her litter mate Burnt Ends with Jake's Girl also booking her spot in the semi-finals. Racing, Karinga Lucy was quickly into stride, so was Jake's girl and three wide to join them as Burn Ends, but Karinga Lucy holds them out in the run to the pen. She's a length and a half on Burn Ends, now into second, Jake's girl back to third, beaten for pace. Next was Deep Impact and Steal Away sees them all. Karinga Lucy still the pilot, sticking with it as Burn Ends, closing Jake's girl, three away Deep Impact. She's finding plenty, K K Karinga Lucy, Burn Ends tries, but Karinga Lucy takes out the regional final. The spotlight then turns to Gunnadar and the only three greyhounds that punters wanted to support in the regional final fill the placings with Cherry prevailing for Sawyer's Gully mentor Daryl Thomas head of the Peter Sims train kennel mates Kenya Star and second exit. Racing, Kenya Star began beautifully. Second exit got out okay. Sherry trying to get across, but kicking up on the inside. Kenya Star, Sherry turned on the afterburners and went to the lead by three now to Kenya Star. Then came second exit into third. Jabini pushing up around them into fourth. A break back in behind them to Murphy and out wide. Muzzer keeping and then came Franco Fernando on the side. Sherry leads the way by four. Second exit emerges to second. Kenya Star, Sherry in front. Sherry holds. Holding on. Dapto staged two heats of the chase last week and the final attracted a top quality field on Thursday night. Leading trainer Jody Lord prepared the two favourites, Awesome Catch and Winlock on top. Racing. Winlock on top away fairly. Drink malt left unset away brilliantly. Winlock on top driving through. Winlock on top has taken control. Led by two to good odds of money. Then drink malt awesome catch. Spring Brigade followed up by top of Brax. And then a long break to Red Shoe 7. And left unset coming off the back. Winlock on top by three over drink malt. There followed up by awesome catch. Winlock on top clear. Drink malt can't get there. Winlock on top. Winlock on top, too good for drink mold, awesome catch. The Tab Million Dollar Chase action continued in the south of the state and last Friday it was Goulburn's turn. Blistering provided Mark Gatt with his second semi-finalist of the series when he scored a narrow victory from Ritz Donald and Poppy Jack in a flying 24-69. Racing nicely away towards the centre. Manila Beef, he come out well. Trying to work up was Ritz Donald. It's outside. Poppy Jackets on early. Then came blistering out wide. Here comes Joe Tennessee Tiger. Optimus Dudley and Pink clearly. Ritz Donald got underneath him and went to the lead. Blistering's tracked it up. Poppy Jack the outside. Then Manila Beef, Tennessee Tiger. Optimus Dusty in the straight. Ritz Donald challenged by blistering. Blistering, Ritz Donald. Blistering right on the line. 
And at tomorrow last Saturday night, Victorian trainer Dave Burnett had three runners engaged in the regional final at that venue. It was the brilliant Simon told Helen, who led virtually all of the way from box seven, defeating River Gum Road and Kinando. Ready. Racing, Simon told Helen away well, so too got the casino, but Simon will roll to the top. Up to second, Maximum Refusal, who told Stevie Keenando. Next up was Snags McKenzie there, followed then, getting a long way now, back was River Gum Road, got the casino ahead of him, turning, Simon told Helen is clear. Holding second, River Gum Road, and back to the inside, Keenando. But he's on the cusp of canine immortality and Simon told Helen, too good for River Gum Road, Keenando. The Tab Million Dollar Chase action continues this week and at Bathurst today, Race 7 is their regional final where the boom youngster Flying Ricardo will be all the rage off Box 8 after recording a best of day 29.58 in his heat win which took his record to 13 starts for 11 wins and 2 seconds. How does that feel? Oh, it feels good. It's a relief. Um, we're happy to be here and um, we'll see what next week brings. I mean, he's done everything right. We can't complain. Uh, he's, he's doing everything week by week and, uh, I mean, we're, we're, we're ecstatic. So just hope for, hope for a good box draw and uh, see what happens. Steel Blue trying to stick with it. Zipping Truby running on strongly. Flying Ricardo in front. Zipping Truby slashing run second. Labrokes Gardens will stage their regional final next Saturday night after three heats were run and won on the weekend. Galaxy Banner for the informed trainer Barry Gibbons won in 29.51. Bedazzle Babe for Brett Moore clock 29.48 while seen around was the quickest qualifier running a very slick 29.37 for trainer Robert Vines. Yeah, mate, he's going really well. He's chasing hard and running well. His midsections are good. I told him here Tuesday morning post to post, so I was expecting a good run out of him. I thought he would have felt the pinch a little bit, but he got to the line nicely tonight, so I'm happy with his run. And I think he's got a bit of improvement in him, this dog. It was old Mick Benner and then came Aston Tatum. Last of all, was not today on the side. Seen around on the arm and T raveling off and gone. Seen around scores by four and a half lengths to Nev's gift and then came cursed. So another 18 greyhounds have progressed through to the semi-finals of the Tab Million Dollar Chase. It's another big week for the world's richest greyhound race with heats being conducted at Bulleye and Lismore on Tuesday, Wagga on Thursday, Richmond and Dubbo on Friday, and then Nowra next Saturday night. Trainers, don't forget, check the nomination closing times with Greyhound Racing New South Wales for your chance to win a million. Staying on the track now, and last Friday night at Richmond saw the conclusion of the Group 3 Ladbrokes Richmond Riches Series after heats were staged the week prior. The punters elect was the Peter Lagosiani trained Sanctify from box six. Racing, Sanctify got away beautifully. He's charging over Candy Carrera, showing pace, but Sanctify strode to a clear lead, and they all jostled behind him. He's nine in front, going into the back. Going to second, Sharky's Wish, followed up by Scepter, and there followed by Gone by Noon, Candy Carrera. Further back came Miami Oval, 05's for surprise, and you know why. At the tail of the field, look at Sanctify go. He must be 15 in front, and he is going to make a mess of them in the Richmond. And riches won it by 20 lengths. Sanctify had 17 and a quarter lengths to spare over 05 surprise and gone by noon. As the son of Alan Deeg claimed the $40,000 winner's check in a time of 30 and 41 for owner Sonia Davis. <music> and finally, it was recently announced that a couple of grand old chasers had been retired from the racetrack. Cosmic Bonus's career has come to an end after he claimed an amazing 72 races and more than $400,000 in prize money for Len and Evelyn Harris, with his biggest victory coming in the 2018 Masters Meteor. The mouth, Cosmic Bonus in front, they can't get him! Cosmic Bonus too good! Cosmic Bonus has won the money! And the curtain has also come down on one of the most honest chasers we've seen in recent years, with Blue Moon Rising being retired after his career saw him have 138 starts for 44 wins, 58 minors, and more than half a million dollars in prize money earned. Prepared by John and Minnie Finn, he claimed two Group 1s during his career, including the Super Stays and the Top Gun Stays at the Meadows, but he loved Wentworth Park, and just three runs back, he claimed the New South Wales Distance Championship at what was his 13th win over the 720-metre trip.
They're on the top corner. The old warrior, Blue Moon, rising by two. El Rapido is trying hard. One and a half, two. Pearl of Tahiti swinging. Blue Moon rising. He's in front. He's going great guns. Goes all the way. Blue Moon rising. He's a ripper. And that's all we have for the Week in Review this week. I'll be back next Monday with another edition. But don't forget, you can watch every New South Wales Greyhound race live and free on the dogs.com.au website. And if you're looking for that elusive winner, check it out. Video previews as I profile out form experts' best bets for each and every meeting.